We've got a couple of special things here before we conclude our service. I'm going to invite my wife, is back there, to come forward. And uh, this spring, um, we were presented this, and we've not had an opportunity to share this and show this, so we're going to share this and show this in context with the other things we have going on today. This beautiful quilt, Jessica, if you want to wave, I don't want to embarrass her too much, but she sewed this gorgeous quilt and has given it to us and we will be hanging this here down in our lower level where a lot of our children's programming goes on and and she says this she says dear glory baptist i'm not fond of public speaking so i asked pastor chris to present this quilt to the church on my behalf i offer it as a token of my appreciation and thanks for all of the wonderful work done for the children of our church both younger and older she says that if you are a child or adult who attends church on Wednesday night, if you're in one of our programs, she says, if you haven't already, feel free to sign your name on this. We had it laid out and there are names all over Connie Pearson and names all over from our kids and the staff on Wednesday evenings. And if you haven't had a chance to sign that, we'll get you a chance to sign it before we hang it. And she's invited you to do that. She said, my son Connor has graduated this year and we're going to be honoring him here in just a minute. And he has directly benefited from all the thoughts, prayers, planning, talking, trips, projects, concerns, and celebrations that glory invests in our children. The church and the many other caring adults in his life have helped keep him on the path towards graduating and now heading into the Marines. Connor was about 10 years old when he started coming here, so many of you in the youth group know how much he has changed and matured. Thank you for your hand in his life and in mine. So thank you for your beautiful work. This is an amazing quilt, and we are blessed by it, Jess. So thank you for sharing your gifts with us. Thank you. Yes, I said that. And then, do you need help folding it? Okay. And then I'd invite Pastor Kevin to come forward. Because on that note, as I mentioned, we had originally thought Connor was leaving us tomorrow, but instead he's leaving this afternoon, apparently. So, a little quicker than we had thought, but that's okay. We're recognizing Connor today. Uh, and Kevin's going to be praying for him in a minute. We'll give you some instructions in just a moment. But not, not every one of us has an opportunity to be sent out in the missions field, right? And some of us are certainly sent into missions, as we saw last week. We, had, uh, we got to see the Anderbecks talking a little bit about their ministry. We'll have some missionaries here on September 10th talking about their ministry in the DR. So some are sent and some aren't. But as Connor is entering into the Marines and he's going full-time, I suspect God is going to do a little bit of both with you, Connor. He's going to send you into the field and as well as give you an opportunity right in your own unit to be an ambassador of God's light. Um, Connor, you chose the Marines, but I believe that God will use you there if you will let him. And the bonds of trust, the bonds of brotherhood you're going to be developing in the years to come um, as you invest in one another, Connor, and your unit, it will take down barriers where the other men will listen to your heart if you'll share it. So my challenge to you, Connor, is to take this as an opportunity to be salt and light into the world through the Marines that you serve with. And further, you'll be able to go places and do things and see things that you would otherwise never have had the opportunity for. And I pray that wherever God sends you into the field, that you would use it as an opportunity to make a difference, Connor. We're excited for you, Connor. We're incredibly proud of you, Connor. And we thank you for your commitment uh, to serve and protect each and every one of us and our freedoms uh, that we enjoy in this great land. So what we're going to do is I'm going to invite two groups. Connor, if you will come up here. And Connor's family, if you will come up here. If you are a man or a woman who has served in the military and would like to come forward and lay hands on Connor, we are going to pray over Connor today. So I would invite the men and women who have served to come put, lay hands in, on Connor. If you are a family member who has sent a spouse or a child off into service, I would also invite you to come forward to lay hands upon Connor's family as well because they are making a sacrifice. They are indeed going to be missing Connor for a number of years to come. So I would invite all of you to come forward. And while we do that, Pastor Kevin, who is our, I guess, most senior serving member of, of the military in our church, he's got the most years under his belt in military, 
is going to pray, but not only is Kevin our most experienced in the armed services, but Kevin has been instrumental in Connor's life. He's been his youth pastor for eight plus years. And so there's no man I would rather allow to have this opportunity to pray than Pastor Kevin. So the floor is yours. Thank you, Chris. Let's pray. Dear Lord, our hearts are filled with gratitude for the men and women who serve our country and for the sacrifices their families make so that we can all enjoy the blessing of freedom. We praise you for calling them to protect us and for giving them the courage and ability to do their jobs well. Guide their choices and their actions, Lord. Help them to see you working in their daily lives, whether in the field, at home, or abroad. Surround them with your mighty angels. Protect them in your mercy. Cover them with your grace. Guard their hearts while they are far from loved ones. And bless them with moments to cherish when they are together. Hold these families close, Lord. May they look to you for the strength and peace that only you can give. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Connor, again, thank you for your service. We are indeed very proud of you. Be safe and come visit soon. Everyone else, you're welcome to congratulate him. Yes, indeed, indeed.